Today we're going to talk about meal prep because I tell so many students of ours, if you save money, you lower your expenses, you actually make more profit. With that being said, we want to save money on food costs. It's a really big item that gets away with us throughout the work week because as you know, signing agents are always on the go. So we're going to take items that you see at Wendy's, at Carl's Jr., at McDonald's, or whatnot, Subway, and show you how to not only make it healthier, but actually less expensive. Welcome to another episode of Notary Hacks, but this time Notary Hacks Meal Prep Edition. I'm here with the amazing LSS couple, the Vidals. First off, let me say thank you both for letting us in your house. We are literally inside their home in New Jersey. This is not a fancy Fox set. Dave is a chef, he's an amazing chef. He's actually tried out for chef shows like Master Chef with Gordon Ramsay. So he is the real deal and he's gonna teach you how to Make your food taste better with very quick, short recipes. Thank you, man, for sharing your expertise with the whole community. Oh, no problem, my pleasure, my pleasure. They're a couple signing agent, six figures, by the way. What are the benefits for you and your family and your business? Well, it's what you mentioned earlier, cost control. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that that right there, for me, a big, uh, a big selling point. And the other one, too, is uh, quality of ingredients. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, Doing it at home, you can control what's going into you, it's, it's what you're using, the type of ingredients, things That's like that. That's right. I mean, if you eat better, you have more energy, you have more energy, you can market better, you can be a better signing agent, have that sustained energy. I'm excited. I got notes in my hand. You're like, Mark, what are you flailing around? <laughs> I'm flailing around the notes. We got a lot of great information to go over. I'm going to let you take over, Dave, and, and kind of start with um, some of your hacks and what you meal prep for you and your wife. All right. Sounds good. Let's get started. <laughs> First thing we're gonna kind of try to recreate here in the kitchen is a Wendy's Parmesan chicken Caesar salad. And the first uh, hack, Mark, uh, yeah. that I just recommend, a lot of folks now, there's gonna be a lot of little tips and tricks, but I think the first one a lot of folks should look into is, guys, think about uh, good quality uh, salad kits. Although you can absolutely chop up your own lettuce and do your own thing, this saves time, lots of time. Literally so this is what I'm gonna use. the of working smarter, not harder. The hardest step is open up the bag. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I'm gonna change on this, folks, is although these do come with a uh, Caesar dressing, I'm gonna change it up. I'm actually gonna show folks how to make their own little little citrus dressing, a lime dressing to go with this, which pairs really nicely. I love it, and that's the chef coming out of it. <laughs> how much would a chicken Caesar salad at the time of this shooting cost? At uh, Wendy's, which yep. is what we uh, price comparison, $6.79. $6.79. By the time he is done with this, how much is this gonna cost out the door? With the chicken and everything, you're looking at two dollars and ninety cents. Two dollars. That's almost fifty percent. It's more than fifty percent. My yep. math is quick. And again, fast food in general is less expensive. I mean, this Caesar salad at a restaurant is probably fifteen dollars. The fact that this is two dollars and nine cents is absolutely insane. So please take it away. The one thing, if you're going to eat it right away, dress it, right. which is obviously a big thing. But if you're not going to eat it right away, or if you want to prep a few of these uh, to kind of get through the week, I suggest not dressing it. Actually, making the dressing separately, and then uh, put your dressing over it once you're ready to eat it. So my lime dressing, very simple, folks. It starts with half a lime, all right? And we're gonna just squeeze that into our container. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Even I could do this, uh, by right. the way, not a chef, okay? Olive oil. Okay, how all much right. olive oil About in there? two tablespoons, all right, so there's half two. Half a lime, a little bit of olive oil. All right, so there's our Easy salt. Easy peasy, yep. Yeah. So a little, a little pepper, all right. And there's that. And there's your dressing. And then this guy, we'll throw in our croutons as well. Bring that in. Give her a toss. This is our container. Okay, perfect. All right, we're gonna put that in there. We are making grilled chicken Caesar salad. Okay. So another hack that folks can consider is pre-cooking some things. Okay. And grilled chicken in the Vidal household is a staple. Got we it. always have grilled chicken. You can actually get it already pre-cut in the tenders as well, yeah. which I suggest that's another hack. Again, time savings. Right. And then it's grill them up and cut them up. So part of meal prepping is meal prepping some of the bigger items in bulk, right? Mm -hmm. So the, usually the proteins, chicken, your steaks, your shrimps, whatever you're gonna use throughout the week. I love chicken, but honestly, I have no idea how to cook it. So Mark, uh, the seasoning is real simple. You're literally going to throw salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and just a little bit of olive oil. Again, the staple here in the sauce is easy, olive oil. Huh? It's that easy. All right, so all right. this is about six, seven tenders right here. Keep it to about half a teaspoon of that. Okay, Something cool. you don't need a lot. Cool. Here's where you can load up garlic. This is garlic powder, granulated yeah. garlic. All it is is dehydrated yeah. garlic. You know, Super cheap, get at Costco. Super, I mean, yeah. by bulk. And yeah, exactly. And this has no sodium to it. You can go nuts with okay. this stuff. Ta a teaspoon of this. Okay. Again, for our six to seven tenders. Okay. All right. Just say if you got something like this, 
go one, two, three. You know, that's all you need. One, two, that's three. that's cool. all you need. So half a teaspoon of this, about a teaspoon of this, and about three twists of this. And last but not least, tablespoon of olive oil. Tablespoon. Olive oil on protein, what it does is it helps, it kind of has an acidic property to, right. to the protein, just helps the protein relax. Be you know, kind of get into its element. If you ever grill a steak, I love the passion he uses. It lets the protein relax. relax. Remember, I've never heard someone say about chicken like that. He's like, like I, I'm relaxed, man. <laughs> I love. Okay. So that's it. Grab the tongs and um, you know, mix her up. Mark, I got a great idea. What? You're no, doing the cooking. No. Oh no, yeah. No, oh no. yeah. Where's my wife? Don't show this to my wife because she's gonna have me start cooking. She makes the best chicken. Hot grill pan. This has okay. been on the stove. This, if you don't have an outdoor grill, is something that folks should invest in. Again, very easy and just all I can say is throw it okay. on in. They don't have this. What could they do about? They don't uh, have a a barbecue. Just a just a good old uh, pan would yeah, work. Yeah, just a good old pan. Okay. Good old pan. You know, nonstick. Just throw it in there. What I look for is if you look up the edge of the tender, you kind of see that halfway mark turn white. That's when you're about ready to flip. But right oh. now, it's one of those where you just kind of let it do. What we're doing right here, it's getting, it's getting the, the grill marks, it's getting all that good flavor. So for, for you non-chefs out here, including me, this white is what he's speaking of. When this white goes about halfway, it's time to flip. That's cool, I didn't know that yeah. actually. And I'll show you another little hack right when you're about to take it off. Because that's always a big thing folks see, is wonder is, is it ready? That's is it right. cooked? So I always say you're gonna have a sacrificial tender. Okay. And what that means is yeah. you're gonna split one open, but it's very, you can do it right here where you'll split it, but I'll show you how yeah. that works. Let's let these guys still do their thing. This goes quick though. You're talking yeah. these tenders on the grill, nice and hot, you know, and the, the, the grill itself, the, your little pan, yeah. this could be on the stove already right. while you're prepping something yeah. else. Then once you're ready to throw your protein on, you throw it on. And we're gonna let this run in real time so you can see how quick this actually takes to cook. How long is this good for? I Meaning some meal preps this today, how long in the fridge is it good for? A, not only does it taste good, but it becomes not good for you. Two to three days cooked, you're good to go. If you do want to hold it longer, let it cool, package it up, and put it in the freezer. Immediately after you cook and, it? Yeah, well, let it cool down. Understood. Let it, let it cool down, okay. and then put it in the freezer. So that what I heard is, if you cook on a Sunday night, the protein part, the chicken, um, and we we're not doing beef or the shrimps, but is it probably a, a fair thing to your chef to say that most of your proteins last two to three days. They do, they do. Chicken especially is good. I wouldn't hold fish that long, for instance. Okay. If you grilled fish, one, two days, use it already. Right. Steak will hold also, you know, okay. nicely. So uh, basically every Sunday and Wednesday, you should probably recook your, your re proteins, your proteins for the meal prep. Yeah. I only say that because I don't want some of you guys meal prepping for the entire week and like Friday, you're, you're rocking the chicken from Sunday night. Based off of the lessons I'm getting, this, I'm, I'm looking for this white strip here. Some, some of the LSS students are like, Mark, I know how to cook chicken. <laughs> Not all of us do, man. Now you're good there. So okay. now if you go and you grab that, that uh, you see how we pulled away? Oh, you're good to go. Oh, look at those. Now you got the nice marks. grill marks. Take this, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'm guessing that was probably two minutes. About two minutes. I love it. I'm learning. I want to live notary hacks. Is I'm a notary and these are hacks that I've never learned. Again, I'm trying to speak to the person who doesn't cook like me. Okay, so how much did all this cost? Two dollars worth of chicken right here. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Two this, so, so this is two servings. It's, right. a, it's six tenders, three I servings. Would, I would argue tenders. it'd be three servings. You could probably do three, you That's know, right. or, or for the more hearty appetite. That's right. You know, it's one serving. That's right. Dollars. And this is antibiotic free, and so like yes. you can do, you can feed our bodies better by cooking home. I want to keep saying that because one of your favorite things you said was money, and then what you're putting in your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what, what am I looking for here? So man? you're you're ready to test. Yeah. Grab one of them. Okay. All right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press it. You're gonna kind of split it against oh, the got pan. It. Okay. And what you're looking for. Is that nice cooked? See, you're fully, you're cooked, you're ready to go. So another way of testing is they say test the juices. So if you look, if your juices run curious, so you see how the juices are starting oh, to run? Oh yeah. No blood. So now if you want to leave it another 30 seconds, yep. just for good measure, you leave it on there. This has been such a great notary hacks. We're gonna keep bringing the heat every single day, right. literally bringing the heat, you know what I mean? And with that, here we are. Our take on the Wendy's Parmesan chicken Caesar salad. Look how beautiful that looks. This goes right in the fridge. Goes right in the fridge. And you got you Monday go. lunch. And again, this out the door, $2.90. Incredible, super easy. Let's go to your second item that you want to show everybody how to make. Next on the list, it looks like a Subway tuna sandwich. By the way, a Subway tuna sandwich kind of grosses me out. You know what I mean if you've been to Subway. I'm sure you have your little twist on it and make it delicious. But yeah, we're going to compare a tuna Subway sandwich cost to what it is to make in your own house. So David, that being said, man, I'll let you take it away. All right, perfect. Mark, I promise you I will uh, 
uh, minimize the bane of your existence <laughs> with mayonnaise. Tuna fish sandwich. We're gonna make it with a few different things, kind of mimicking uh, when you go to Subway. Uh, we're gonna make a six inch, all right? Okay. And we're using a uh, multi-grain Italian bread okay. here. Again, it's not expensive. You can get about maybe three to four sandwiches out of something yeah. like this. So one more way for people to economize. Yeah. Using a good quality tuna fish. Kathy and I always prefer tuna fish packed in, in olive oil, and I always recommend that everybody consider the same. A little, more flavor, well, uh, little right? bit more flavor, a little bit, you already got the little bit of fat, so you're not adding a ton of mayonnaise to get that same fat content in it. And we're, our fixings, just like you would in Subway, would be uh, lettuce, red onion, tomato. So while he's getting that done, let's talk about the pricing on this, because remember, half a meal prepping is not only eating healthier, like the good quality tuna. Let's talk about cost specifically sure. here, because we are business owners. So how much do you have the Subway uh, cost at? So we figured that was about $6.59. For a six inch. For a six inch. And correct. then when said and done, how much per sandwich can you make here with, with the ingredients? The way Dave's making it, the sandwich will be $2.75. Again, over 50% savings by making it at home. You know, I propose to you and everybody else is, you know, time is money. So is it worth spending five minutes meal prepping so you can make $5? Does that math make sense, right? So you're literally making money by spending time making your lunch. Because if you're spending $6.59 at, at Subway, you can spend five minutes while doing that. Is there anything else you should be chiming in? How much, so, how much, how much mayo do they So see? I just added a little bit of mayo as okay. I go, you know, it goes a long way. That was about a tablespoon, tablespoon okay, and a cool. half, not the three gallons that they like to throw yes. in Yes, <laughs> and I love your little hack of getting the olive oil because we all know the, ben the benefits, the health benefits of olive oil and not needing to douse it in. Of mayo. So, uh, so a la Subway, we're now getting ready for our fixings. Do you recommend keeping these on the side, maybe a piece of foil, and then yeah. put that on yeah. before or you Or in a leave. Tupperware or in a Ziploc yeah, bag, whatever okay. you want. We're going to prep this as if we're going to do it. I love these hacks, man. I'm not a chef, but I'm picking up on a lot. Let's get back to this, though. Yes. Meal prepping makes all the sense in the world because you're actually making money by doing it. And so, because every dollar you save is a dollar you earn. So um, I love this. Problem, too, with going to Subway is all of a sudden you add the Coke and then you add the chips. Now your, your meal's 10, 15 bucks when you can just get some water in your, in your bag, eat healthier. Maybe you get fruit in, instead of chips, you know, instead. So now you're eating healthier throughout. So I think it's absolutely amazing. So, so I think it's pretty self-explanatory what's going on over here. Now uh, we got the six inch right yep, here. We're, so here's our six inch. We're getting this, this, you know, getting the bread ready now. This is now a preference. If you want a little bit more mayo or a little bit of mustard or some cheese or whatever, mm -hmm. you, you, now you do whatever you want. Right. I'm trying to just keep it kind of, Simple. you want Subway, I That's want a right. tuna sandwich with lettuce, red onion, and uh, tomato. So if you're gonna meal prep this, you'd only put the tuna in here. Mm -hmm. So let's do that if that's okay. I love it, bada boom. So right. again, the little hack is putting these on separate. Excuse me. <laughs> How does that taste? Delicious, by the way. <laughs> if you compare it to a Subway sandwich, it's literally 50% off, boom. And then he's gonna put the fixings inside the container so your sandwich doesn't get soggy. I mean, it's healthier, it's cheaper. I mean, this bread looks delicious and bada boom. And now we have a Caesar salad and a Subway uh, tuna salad and we're saving money. This is amazing. You're the man. Okay, so awesome. you're not stopping, baby. Because of the magic of editing, we are on number three meal prep. So we're down Caesar, chicken Caesar salad. We have a tuna fish sandwich from Subway. And now I think this is really super awesome because I always, we always buy um, pasta from the store. You know you're in Whole Foods or you're at Ralph's or you're at Safeways and there's that beautiful huge glass thing. You're like, ooh, I'll take a pound of that pasta. I'll take a pound of that roast and beef, whatever. We're gonna do a pound of pasta that you would get at any grocery store in America. And so Dave, I'm gonna let you take it away. Rock and roll. All right. Once again, comes loaded with your favorite ingredient in the world. Yeah. But of course, um, I actually love store-bought pasta. I'm gonna be honest with everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's good. It, it, yeah, it it's good. legit. It's, it's legit, but the thing is, again, for that everyday eating, yes. it might be a little too heavy. 100%. So, So what we did here was create something that that's a little bit more healthy, veggie-centric, yeah. you know, giving you a little bit more zhuzh, and again, controlling ingredients. Zhuzh, is, is, is that a chef that's, word? That's a chef word. A little word. more zhuzh. A little more zhuzh. Another, another day word is <laughs> pleasant on your palate. Pleasant on I'm, your I'm palate. Sorry, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna put pleasant on the palate, baby. <laughs> Here's a great food hack, by the way. Yep. And actually, most people don't know this. Restaurants, even the really good ones that okay. serve pasta, they pre-cook their pasta. So that's something I recommend folks consider as well, is pre-cook your pasta. It starts off with boiling water, Three tablespoons yeah. of salt. Three for tablespoons. A pot of water. Yeah, it, okay. and so it's got to be salty to the right. to the taste. 
and let it boil. You want to cook it down to al dente. Al dente, what that means is just, again, when you bite into it, you mm -hmm. don't want to just go, you don't want it to turn to mush in your right. mouth. So a lot of restaurants, you said pre-boil their pasta. How good would just plain pasta boil be in your fridge? You could probably hold on to it in the fridge for a week. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. It'll, so it'll, a little yeah. bit of olive oil yeah. so it doesn't clump. So it doesn't it. clump. A little olive oil, okay. toss it around so it Okay, so that's yeah. a little chef hack, which I didn't know. Can of corn, drained. Yep. Okay. Veggies, you can add anything you want. What's Chef Dave um, gonna do? So we're gonna do a, uh, a little bit of green pepper, a little bit of red pepper. Okay. Gives a little bit of contrast. He's chopping those up. Let's go over the cost, right? Because again, the reason I wanna share this with you or have the Vidal share this with you is it's about saving money and to your point, better quality ingredients. Pound of pasta that you'd get is how much? In the store, almost five bucks. Almost five bucks. Yeah. So by the time he's done, if you wanted to equate whatever we're making today to a pound, what are you spending for a pound of the homemade pasta? $1.43. Again, I mean, this is blowing my mind. You know, it's funny, I'm not about that my amazing wife does a lot of the cooking, most all the cooking in the family. And so sometimes I don't realize, you know, how quick something like this can actually be. And so, I mean, the Caesar salad took five minutes, the tuna fish sandwich took five minutes. The pasta, I mean, by the time we're done, this is gonna be another five minutes. And so if you can spend five minutes of your time and save three or four dollars, oh, yeah. you're paying yourself back in those dollars per hour. And so, I mean, I'm learning something new right now. And I wish when I was full-time signing agent mode, um, I'd probably meal prep more because I would have made a lot more, saved a lot more money and eventually uh, ultimately made more money, so I should say. I was gonna say, while Dave's normally um, boiling the pasta, he's chopped everything by the time the pasta's boiled. Like, ah, it's that's a good little move, quick. got it. So what she just said is when he's boiling the pasta to make it, he's actually doing this. So it really makes it more time efficient. Yep. And but you I mean, could make this, this part of another process. So you may be making some rice or you may be making uh, some a meal that requires these ingredients. Start prepping everything yeah. ahead of time and you're just then just using as you need it. But you can really control what's going in your body, right? Our body really is our, our base and foundation for everything we do in life. And mm -hmm. you know, health is our wealth. And I think a lot of times the signing agents so on the go, go, go that they're eating you know, the Subways and the Carl's Jr. And they think they're saving money by going to, you know, the pasta and getting in bulk. Like, it's only $5, but like, this is a buck 43 for lunch. Yeah. First off, so, contrast. So epic. contrast, we got our corn, we got our, our uh, yeah. the red pepper, we got the, the green, the, the pasta. I'm gonna forego adding any salt to this because yeah. again, we over -salt salted our water. So there should be enough salt okay. in the pasta to hold yeah. that together. A little bit of, gra of uh, black pepper. By the way, invest in a pepper, a pepper mill, folks. Inve <laughs> invest in a pepper mill. This, this, is, an investment in, 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 this invest, is an investment yeah. that always pays you back. Yeah, this <laughs> pays you back, and it gives you much better flavor. A little bit of black pepper, to preference, a little yeah. bit of mayonnaise, definitely a little well, bit of olive oil. What's Chef Dave's gonna do? Let's, let's do the Chef Dave's So, so uh, I'll, I'll add a little bit of olive oil. How, I'll, how much olive oil do you think in there? So that is probably, again, you're probably, again, one, two tablespoons okay, cool. maybe, you know, and then just bring it all together. Oh my and gosh. now we're just, you know, mixing. I mean, okay, so if you're making a, this is roughly a pound, am I correct? This is four pounds. Okay. So, so four, so, a, so four yeah. pounds of pasta at the grocery store would cost you 20 bucks. This costs all of $5, $6. But my point is, is you now have, in theory, four meals throughout the week. And frankly, when I'm looking at this and I go, man, I'm thinking, how good would the grilled chicken be on top of that? Oh, yeah. So you put the grilled chicken, yeah, yeah, yeah. you need a sous chef, just let oh, me yeah. know. Okay? Absolutely, that's, um, that's actually But uh, great yeah, I think the grilled chicken on top would be amazing, but it gives you so many options cooking from home. Mm -hmm. Can I get a little taste of this Go thing? for it, hold on. Oh. I love how we're at the Vidal's, you know what I mean? And just like, bam, bam, bam. Wow, I mean, look, honestly, some chicken on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now how would we package this up? Yeah, please. Our Perfect. little Tupperware, you know, start loading her up. So we're, this is about one serving here, about half a pound of pasta. That's what we're looking at in this little container. And what I love too is when you cook for yourself, you can portion control, right? I mean, part of being healthy is making sure you're not taking a ton of calories and so, but I mean, bada boom, there's another meal. We have um, store-bought pasta. We had a uh, tuna fish sandwich, and then we had this chicken Caesar salad. I mean, this is unbelievable. I am so sad that this is gonna be the last thing Chef Dave's gonna show us how to make, how to save money, eat better, while I have never really eaten here. This restaurant is so popular on the fast food chain. So Dave's gonna show us how to save money on a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Take it away. All right, perfect. So thank you, by the way, for your help in preparing yep. the chicken. All right, phenomenal job. But yeah, let's get started. Grain Italian bread that we had uh, used before. Chick-fil-A is on a bun, so you can 
put a bun if you want, using the same ingredients that we have for multiple things. Helps uh, save money ultimately, save right? Money I, also as well. I see the tomato, the same tomato we yep, used earlier, we used the same bread early. we used earlier. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So the really key to saving money is multi-purposing different foods. Yes. Um, they all taste delicious, but again, this is Italian bread, which is delicious. Yes. Lop off a piece of the bread to make our sandwich. So we're making about a uh, six inch uh, sandwich as before. So while he's doing that, I mean, so what does a, a, Ch a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich cost? So we saw that just the chicken doesn't include like right? fries or, yep. or anything like that. Six dollars and nineteen cents. Okay, six bucks. What is this going to end up being? Said and done. He'll explain the sauce. Yep. Even using the brand sauce, two dollars and ninety-three cents. <laughs> We're using, I would argue, the same quality ingredients, a nicer restaurant using antibiotic-free chicken, multi-grain Italian bread. So we're using the quality ingredients, so I would argue the price savings is more than $4. I would bet it's like closer to $10. And again, it's super inexpensive. This whole thing's two bucks. Okay, Dave, so what we're we doing here? So we um, cut the chicken up pretty so the, you know, Kind of making a little chef -y here, I okay. know, I know, with the grill side up, so our chicken's down on the bread. Similar to the tuna sandwich, if you wanted to take your fixins kind of on the road, back let's, them let's up, do that. Uh, yes, you, know, you can do that. Another little food hack uh, for all our Chick-fil-A fans is you can buy the Chick-fil-A, and again, no sponsorship here, uh, <laughs> you can um, buy the Chick-fil-A sauce in advance. Uh, it's such an amazing hack, because let's yeah. be honest real quick, man. A Chick-fil-A sandwich is chicken and the special sauce. But chicken and special so sauce. So you get that's the special sauce for this whole container is $5, yeah. right? That's a hack within itself, that's, like that's said. A, so and you, you love use it for other things. That's right, it's unbelievable. I'm, I've never had a Chick-fil-A sandwich, I'm gonna have a bite. All right. Don't make fun of me when I take a bite, by the way. So this is how much? I believe, if I remember correctly, it's about $5. $4.99. For the then... whole package, and with what Dave will put on there, again, to each his own, lighter right. or heavy, four twenty six cents just in sauce. So, so yes, like so the, the Chick-fil-A sauce recipe calls for one ounce of their special sauce. One ounce of the special sauce equates to 26 cents. So a chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A is just chicken, a bun, and this. And you can make a ton of chicken sandwiches with this and save so much money from paying at Chick-fil-A. So we're gonna go and add a little squirt of our Chick-fil-A sauce. 26 cents worth. Okay, we're going to add the lettuce. Okay, close her up. And with that. I mean, look at this, $2.93. What I love is this cost two ninety three dollars after we spent money for taxes and everything else. So this is like two ninety three dollars out the door. This is why you need to be meal prepping. I mean, literally, we've done four meals today. As you can imagine, so many other things. I hope this has inspired you to meal prep other meals. You can save four to five bucks every single meal you eat. You do that twice a day. Let's say you save four bucks, that's eight bucks a day. Eight bucks a day times five is $40. $40 times four weeks is 160 bucks. I mean, that's unbelievable. It's 160 dollars I can go to a car payment. Gosh knows gas is expensive these days, right? And so it offsets some of your gas bills. Things are only as expensive as you make it. So, so this is incredible. So Mark, I'm gonna wrap this part up okay. for us to take to go and that part up somehow right there late right, for somebody right. to give a little taste okay, test. Okay, so just for the record, there's a lot of people in the background, a lot of amazing people helping put this production together and I'm about to get made fun of, but I'm gonna take a bite of the chicken sandwich. I've literally, I'm not lying, never had a Chick-fil-A sandwich before. Oh wow. I'm guessing what makes Chick-fil-A sandwiches famous is the sauce, it's just the like sauce. in and out. Let's do this, baby. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for letting us in your house. We're Welcome. literally in New Jersey, in their home. Uh, you allowed the Lone Sign System community, uh, the YouTube community. Excuse me, I don't know how Guy Fiera does it. I had you talk and I still chew at the same time. I think the biggest lesson that I learned today is literally prepping doesn't take as much time as you think it does. That's probably the biggest thing that I learned. Remember, every dollar you save is literally a dollar earned. I know it's cliche, but it's truth. If you can control your expenses, especially in a market like this, you will actually make more money. Remember, so many people are worried about making more money than lowering expenses. If you can lower expenses, you've actually made more money. And that brings this episode of Notary X to a close. Once again, thank you. I've said it a million times and I'll say it a million times more. Thank you both so much for letting us in your house. But follow my channel for more great information just like this. And remember, I believe in you so much, but I just can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Let's go! So he's gonna teach us how to make a chick fil <laughs> <laughs> it was a chicken, man! <laughs> and then meal prepping the meat part of the week's. Can we start that over? That's the last time Oh, here's a, a little notary a uh, little notary trick. Oh, hold on, let's redo that. Sorry. What is, what is this? Bow tie? This is bow tie. Yeah. This is a this is this is a bow tie pasta. My wife's yeah. smiling in the background. I knew that. You know what I mean? Put a little bow tie. In. Bam, bam. <laughs> 
I'm laughing to the We all know Mark wants to be a celebrity chef judge. You're good? I'm good, I'm good. I don't know if my wife making fun of me. I mean, you're laughing. I think it's almost in and out of I, I, it, it, it's, it's that, that, mm -hmm. that, what is it? What is it? Was it on the palette? palette. <laughs>